Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 5. Um, Alright, so the previous episode we got to see the first part of the fight between like, you know, Shinso and the group like, you know, class B and like i'm like i'm referring to as it as the first part because we're going to have another fight which will be uh in the spotlight that will be deku versus shinso you know like deku will be in one team and shinso will be in the group b team uh, class b team and i'm looking forward to that because uh the first fight that he fought i'm sure that uh like made him realize about the lot of weaknesses that his power has and i'm sure he'll kind of try some new things in the next fight and fight uh, with the whole fight with Deku and uh, Deku is pretty smart Deku is pretty smart Shinso has kind of recognized the weaknesses and the problems that his quirk has so I like you know I'm looking forward to what they're going to do this will be like some like high level like you know like strategy battle I'm guessing so that's one thing that I'm looking forward to and also like you know what new way like will he like will Shinso be able to find some new way to use his power or not that's also one thing that I like am um, kind of uh, wanting to see uh, what will happen because as far as I could say like his power is strong but it is less versatile so he needs to think of something you know because the first battle he was able to trick the like you know the same enemy two times you know the same enemy team two times which is something that i was really surprised about because like the, his power is something that if like used to it can be only used to trick a, an enemy only once but he was able to do it two times and they fell for it so that's in, in like that in itself is impressive so yeah like let's see what uh this episode brings uh, i'm sure we'll get the fight this episode so i'm looking forward to it so without further ado let's get started with my hero academia season 5 episode number 5. all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Yeah, and the bandage also worked, you know, that eraser head gave him. <laughs> All right. I'm quite curious are we going to see all the other battles as well like you know the other team members battles that they're going to have like I can kind of say like the main battles are will be the battles which will involve Shinzo so you know like I'm curious as to I'm, I'm guessing they're going to do the same thing that they did in the tournament arc you know where they kind of showed us little portions of like you know they did not go too much into it but kind of showed us like what happened in the battles so something like that most probably Okay, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, true, you know. 
<laughs> is he? Yeah, yeah, he he's fried. He's fried. Hmm, that's tough, you know. Damn. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Damn. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, he's in the support. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, like if someone attacks him head on, he will have a tough time. Yeah. What? Yeah, he's he's doing some kind of yeah simulation. <laughs> what the? What the hell? Oh no. <laughs> oh damn, here he is. Hmm. Burn, but <laughs> Oh damn. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> This guy's too much. <laughs> okay. Combo. Oh, what's Bakugo doing? <laughs> yeah, that's his that's his plan. <laughs> Oh, fifth match. Hmm. <laughs> it's mine by me for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the? What? My god, Midnight is a bit too excited <laughs> this episode. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, a lot of things happened. Then the whole thing with gentle as well. Hmm. Dress rehearsal. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
yeah you will probably be really fun mm, okay yeah oh okay get ready okay all right we're going to see the other matches as well i was thinking were they going to show us the other matches operation new improv moves oh Yeah. <laughs> Same box. I'm um, no, not that. <laughs> oh, now, yeah, now they're like fighting against each other. So this will be. Oh. That was what I was saying, like they can fight now, you know. Oh, <laughs> okay. Kuroiro Shihai. Oh, well, he can get inside his shadow then. Can't he? Like, if he can. <laughs> live in eternal darkness <laughs> definitely not you know because you know they use shadow so that's why they're not twinkling <laughs> anyways come on <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay oh Damn. Oh. So she's like the leader. <laughs> True. Big sister. Hmm. What? Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh. I'm quite curious about that person who has like this one exclamation mark. Oh, wow. That's handy. I'm saying this, he got inside Dark Shadow. I'm sure about it. I'm sure of it. He is inside that. Yep. I, I'm saying this from the beginning. He can get inside Dark Shadow because of his quirk. Damn. Like... Yeah, he is an extremely bad combination with him. Yeah. Yeah, Dash is pretty strong. I ha like we already know that. Hmm. 
<laughs> Oke. Okay. There you go. But he can get in the air. Oh god. <laughs> That's a really Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um. <laughs> what? Dark fallen answer. What is this chuny type name? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two months ago, Kyushu area. Oh, oh, the villains. <laughs> okay, that was fast. Damn. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Is that so? Damn. Hmm, true, you know. <laughs> <Burst of what? laughs> oh, what? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh no, he's pissed. Yeah, like obviously. Yeah, you know, because like he said that we don't like. Yeah, like he feels as if he just chose him just for because he was there. You know, like not because. He wanted him for his talents or something, nothing like that. Oh god. Oh. Mm, what the? <laughs> you become the wind. <laughs> okay. Twenty percent, fifty percent. Wasting a potential. Oh. Is he going to teach him how to fly or something?
Yeah, I think so. We have birds on the side. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's going to teach him how to fly somehow. Whoa. Also, oh, that that's what he calls it. Double bluff. Oh no, he is... Tricking them. Okay. Oh! Damn! Oh god! Scheming him. Oh god. Wow. <laughs> but he can fly. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. How is he flying? Yeah, how is it flying? Also for Oh Oh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> plan A. Oh, there's more plans. Okay. But where are the other teammates? We have not seen them. Something must be wrong here. Oh god, yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Mm. Like, yeah, like, you know, we've not seen them the whole episode. They must be doing some kind of plan. <laughs> wow. She can... Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> we met like we're getting to see some new powers. And So, okay, so as far as I could understand, Tokiomi's uh principle of flying is that because the dark shadow flies, you know, it, it can float. Like he's not flying he's using dark shadow to make him float so like and the way they're doing it is a bit unique like dark shadow is not catching him like this not like this dark shadow is catching him like this so that his hands are open and 
on top of dark shadow there's this cloak which he is using to like you know stop the light from coming so like he's using like this portion to carry tokoyomi and that's how his hands are free and he can use it and tokoyomi is kind of floating at the same time and okay so that was basically it and what else and also uh, another thing that we saw here is what was his name um kuro no let me check the name is that the end yeah okay what was his name um the guy who is called the scheming hero or something um Shihai Kuro Iro. Okay. Shihai Kuro Iro. Kuro Iro. Okay. Kuro means black. Iro means face. So, all right. Um. Okay. So, uh, Kuro Iro. Uh, he, like his quirk is something that we already saw. Right. He uses, uh, like you know, shadow, not shadows, but dark places to get into it and kind of like you know kind of transport himself here and there and if the thing is like light enough he can also like transport that thing uh, so like when they like explained uh the his quirk i was thinking like oh my god he is going to do something with tokoyami because tokoyami's dark shadow is something that is very like you know um convenient for him to take control over so that's what he did like his first part of the plan was to use uh Tokyo's dark shadow and kind of like you know uh, retaliate and fight like use it to fight against him and then like you know he like he kind of makes the whole thing uh like before like the fight starts he kind of makes the whole situation uh, as if like he like he made others think he was trying to go for tokoyami by saying stuff like oh we are kind of the same so like i'm going to go for you and you better watch out stuff like this you know and that was his plan he did that and tried to kind of fight like uh, tokoyami with by using his dark shadow and like he made the stage like that he constructed the stage and then when everyone thought that he was going to go for tokoyami he like uses his uh, quirk to go and uh, take uh, Aoyama and he takes him and tries to I'm guessing like you know kind of capture him as the plan like as the their actual mission is to capture them so thankfully Topomi like did all the training and we kind of get to see a little backstory there uh, not a backstory but like it's not a backstory it's not a backstory we get to see a little bit of past you know the thing that happened when they were like doing the internship and all and we see like what he did in like hawks under hawks scare and like uh one thing that i like you know uh that like tokoyami kind of had a wrong impression about like uh he thought that hawks had called him just because he wanted to uh, know about stuff from the ua and like because he was kind of uh you know standing out in the tournament uh, he was uh, he took the third place because of all of those reason um i think he thought that like Topoyami I mean, thought that hawks had called him and took him under his wing so <clears throat> like you know and then like that he kind of used that as a fuel to self-improve himself and like hawks got impressed at that and later on he taught him how to fly like that he also says like Hoss also says that like 30 percent like my, my intentions 30 percent of my intentions were so that you can get to know a new way to like you know fight you are wasting your potential and yeah and like we already knew that uh, you know tokoyami's quirk that is dark shadow is pretty powerful like in um i can't remember which season it was but like you know uh we saw how tokoyami's uh quirk got you know out of control and how strong it was you know so it's like as hawk said that he is wasting his potential because he can do a lot of things with it uh, but you know 
like it will take time for him to like uh invent new ways to fight with his quirk and here's an, like a one like one of the most unique ways that he does it like he uses uh, dark shadow to float and fly so yeah and uh now here it is like now like then like he rescues aoyama from um, what was his name kurohiro yeah kurohiro and i was thinking where the hell are the other guys like <laughs> they were supposed to do this uh, as a team weren't they so like we can only see kurohiro where are the others and like you know everyone was like kind of focusing on kurohiro like momo and um uh, what's his name um hagakure and like everyone everyone was going for him <laughs> like there was no like <clears throat> no sign of the other teammates and i think they must be like making some kind of plan and like trying to lure them somewhere and uh, make them fall into some kind of trap and yeah that's probably what's going to happen in the next episode as we see in the end that uh, okay uh, okay we kind of know what like um, kendo's power is like she can partially expand her hand I'm, I'm guessing like you know kind of like make it bigger and i don't know if there are any other like techniques he, she has learned but he, she kind of said you know like we have learned a lot more new techniques so i'm guessing she might pull something out in the last moment uh you know some kind of a new technique or somewhat and let's just wait for it but anyways like we know know her power to a certain extent we know her work to a certain extent she can like enlarge his her hands and like that her power uh, we saw uh Kuroiro's power in this episode mm, it's like traveling in within the dark or within the darkened portions of the environment and kind of like move it or control it to some extent if it is possible to uh, that's his power uh, we don't know anything about uh, okay we know a little bit we saw by the end of it like the that girl with mushroom on her head like uh, we kind of saw what she is doing. She is like making mushrooms grow out of different places. I'm guessing that is her power. We are not given an explanation. I'm sure we'll get the explanation next week. Uh, but basically, like that must be her power, like making mushrooms grow. And the only one we don't know anything about is the person. I don't even know if that's a male or a female. The other teammate, you know, who has this kind of an exclamation mark in uh place of the head <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> okay where is he he or she i'm not sure if that's a male or a female just a sec guys i'm i'm trying to ch check that person out okay here it is I still cannot figure out if that's a male or a female. I'm sure we'll get it in the next episode. But like the person has a really unique character design. Like is is that a manga hero or something? I don't know. Like like you know like the head, that person's head, it has like two exclamation marks. And you know those like uh, speech bubbles that we have in mangas, like so that's why like I'm saying like is, is that like some kind of I don't know I'm sure we'll get in the next like we'll get more information uh, in the next episode, but less <laughs> really <laughs> unique character design I have to say, um, and. You know, like I, I can kind of, I could kind of think, like you know, I can kind of guess or predict what the mushroom girl's power is because it's quite evident. You know, because like she has a mushroom on her head, so her power will be something related to mushrooms. But this person, I cannot say what the power is, uh, what the quirk is that person has. Like, <laughs> who knows? Like. 
I don't know, like, I don't even, like, I'm not getting any ideas of what might even the quirk be, you know, because it's so, like, the cat design is so unique. <laughs> okay, and, yeah, and then by the end of it, like, they, like, the, like, team B, uh, class B, they start, uh, you know, the plan B or whatever they said. And I don't know one thing why they're doing it like this, you know, because it seems as if like they're uh, using, uh, you know, their teammates individually. Like at, at the beginning, they used um, Kuroiro. Like he only went out, like, you know, was like engaging team A. And now that Kuroiro's plan has failed, uh, the mushroom girl is using her power. So I don't know, like, is this like their plan? Like, um... I think like if they used all their powers together you know at the same time they could have like caught class like team a by surprise because you know like as she said like their powers are kind of like they all know what their powers are because class team a like class a has been in the tournament everyone knows what their like power actually is like what's tokoyomi's power momo's power um, Hagakure and like Aoyama all of their powers everyone knows and but at the same time uh, team A or like class A does not know the extent of team B's power fully I'm saying I'm, I'm like I'm telling here like I'm kind of mentioning fully here because like they know Kendo's power for a, like you know for a certain bit other than her they knew nothing about the other people like you know other teammates power like um Kuroiro, then uh, the mushroom girl and the other person like i don't know i, I think they, they they don't even know their power so like my uh, like you know like at least i would have done it like this i would have used this opportunity to kind of gang up on them you know kind of gang up on them and use the surprise factor of them not knowing what like the power is to capture at least one person but like they used like Kuroiro like Kuroiro only went out himself and he like he tried to capture like Aoyama and he was almost successful so imagine if the other teammates came they could have captured one so I don't know if they, this has some other underlying plan like Kendo has some other type of plan or not but in my opinion the way they use their teamwork is not what can i say like i don't know like it's it's not um, like they could have done it better in my opinion if they like attacked all at the same time and like you know kind of ganged up on them because they had no idea what their power is and they had the advantage because they knew I mean, i'm talking about team b they knew what team A's powers are. So I don't know, maybe like Kendo has some other type of plan or something. But you know. Anyways, let's just wait for it. I'm sure we'll see more in the next uh, episode. And so uh, we're going to see Deku and Shinso's uh, battle uh, in the. I'm guessing in the fifth, the fifth battle, we'll, we're going to, they said something about them fighting in the fifth round or something. So, and I was thinking, like, I was kind of saying this before the episode started that, you know, I was thinking, like, are we going to get the other teams, how they're going to battle, where we're going to, uh, where they're going to show us that? And, like, yeah, they are showing us. And it's not like the tournament where they kind of, like, you know, uh, they, like, use 15 minutes to, complete one battle they completely used a full episode for this battle and it's going to continue in the next episode as well so they're like you know kind of uh, focusing on the other teammates like other teams as well which i'm glad about and yeah so you know so i'm guessing we're going to see all the teams how they fight uh bakugo's team and todoroki's team as well so yeah this will be interesting you know <laughs> okay so yeah guys that was it that was this episode uh was there something else that i missed mm, no 
no that was it uh one thing that i'm really liking about these episodes are that we can like you know we're getting to see the other like you know the team b's all the other classmates power i'm really like uh like looking forward to what their powers are you know because and uh, some like you know some uh, heroes have really unique powers so uh, i'm like looking forward to that every week like what new power we're going to see what new quirk we are we going to see so yeah that's something really like i'm glad about that they're doing you know so like that they're showing us so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be checking them out so yeah guys i'll be back next week with another episode of my hero academia same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day